Now, U.S. First Lady Melania Trump has wrapped up her first visit to Africa with a goal of highlighting child welfare and promoting the work of the U.S. Agency for International Development on the continent. Her four-nation tour last week includes stops in Ghana, Malawi, Kenya, and Egypt. Viewers Paul Diho recaps her visit. Melania Trump's her first stop was last Tuesday in the West African nation of Ghana as she launched her first major solo international trip as U.S. First Lady. She landed in the capital of Accra and was welcomed by Ghana's First Lady Rebecca Akufo Addo with dancing, drumming and school children waving mini U.S. and Ghanaian flags. Mrs. Trump visited a children's hospital intensive care unit before going to the presidential palace. The next day, Mrs. Trump visited the infamous Doha of No Return at a former slave trade outpost and gazed over the crashing ocean waves that carried millions of Africans to lives of servitude. Earlier, Mrs. Trump visited a Mansi Manzi palace where a regional tribe leader granted her permission to tour the palace. A ceremony was held inside Obama Hall a building on the palace grounds that was renamed after former U.S. President Barack Obama's visit in 2009. On her second leg of the trip, Mrs. Trump flew to Malawi upon her arrival at Kamuzu Banda International Airport. She experienced a different view of educating children as she visited the Chipola Primary School in Lilongwe, the capital of Malawi. The school is among those that receive education assistance from the U.S. Agency for International Development, or USA, including textbooks, but struggles with an enrollment of more than 8,500 students. I appreciate all the support you have given us. Thank you all. God bless you. God bless your families. And God bless the United States of America. Critics say while the First Lady highlighted USAID's work in Africa, the administration of President Donald Trump has been trying to cut the agency's funding by roughly 30%. In Nairobi, Kenya, Melania Trump said to the beats of African music, as she was welcomed to an orphanage on Friday. She started her visit seeking to highlight conservation efforts by feeding baby elephants at Nairobi National Park and going on a safari there. One baby elephant made a sudden move on her and she momentarily lost her footing, but patting one's back and stroking the ear of another. Ironically, Earlier this year, President Trump quietly signed an executive order allowing Americans to import the body parts of African elephants shot for sport from Zimbabwe and Zambia and encouraging wealthy big game hunters to kill the threatened species would help raise money for conservation programs. President Trump's adult sons, Donald Trump Jr. and Eric Trump, are trophy hunters. Interior Secretary Ryan Zinke, who oversees the agency that lifted the ban, also is an avid hunter. Smiling for the cameras in the shadow of the Egyptian pyramids, the U.S. First Lady Melania Trump wrapped up her four-nation Africa tour in Egypt. Paul Ndiho, VOA News, Washington.